you can stop taking meeting notes because Zoom takes them for you. Zoom IQ Meeting Summary is a new feature where Zoom can now automatically through AI generate a summary of your meeting. The summary is then emailed to you and if you wish to all other participants and shared in the team chat so that also participants that could not attend the meeting can read the notes. How well does it work? Well, I tried it for you. I've scripted with ChatGPT a conversation and simulated it in Zoom with multiple accounts. I've then repeated the exact same conversation multiple times across multiple meetings to check for consistency. Was the summary always the same and always consistent? Let's find out. This video is sponsored by Lucky Carrot, the platform where people recognize hard work, celebrate success and say thank you. More about it later in the video. The Zoom IQ meeting summary feature is currently available as a free trial for all paying plans. So if you're on a free account, well, sorry, you won't be able to access it. Will it stay free of charge also in the future? Well, probably not. So if you want to give it a try, this is the right time to do it. The feature was made available with the 5th of June 2023 release. That is version 5.14.10. So if you're not on the latest Zoom version, go to your desktop client and check for updates. After running the update, the first thing is to make sure that the feature is enabled. So from your desktop client, go to settings and then click on view more settings. This will open all the advanced settings in your web client. So in your web client, go to settings and then choose in meeting advanced. And here scroll down until you find meeting summary with Zoom IQ. It's currently marked as free trial, but depending on the time when you watch this video, things may have changed. Here it's likely that you won't be able to enable this feature, as this needs to be enabled at account admin level. If you work in an organization, then you may have to contact IT, but I'm on a pro individual plan, so I do have access to my admin settings. Scroll down on the left tab, go to admin, account management, and then click on account settings. Here go to in meeting advanced, and you'll see very similar information to what we've just seen. However, here you have higher rights where you can enable the meeting summary with Zoom IQ. Then choose with whom you want to automatically share the meeting summary. You can select whether only the host receives the summary or host and meeting invitees in the organization or everyone also outside of the organization. Here you have an additional setting for data sharing. If you enable this, you're allowing Zoom to use the data to improve the product. So for now, I'll leave this as disabled. Good, we're all set. It's now time to test it. As I want to check for consistency across multiple meetings, I've asked ChatGPT to provide a script for a discussion. I've asked it to simulate a five minutes Zoom call between two participants. One is the manager and one is a team member. The team member reports on the progress of a project and warns the manager that the project is late and over budget. The manager is concerned and the two discuss about an action plan to mitigate the risks. So let's have ChatGPT generate the discussion and this is what it came up with. It's actually not super interesting, so if you want to read it, just pause the video and go through it. I'll now start a Zoom meeting where I'm connecting with my MacBook Pro from my garden and I will also join with my iPhone. Now you see a new icon appearing at the bottom. It has this sparkle icon and says start summary. When you click on it, participants will receive a notification that meeting summary has been enabled. Similar to when you start a recording, then Zoom gives you the option to either accept or leave the meeting. And the same information is displayed on the Mac as a host, as well as on my iPhone as a participant. So let's click on got it. And then for the duration that the feature is enabled, at the top, you'll see a note saying meeting summary with Zoom IQ on. I'll now take the script and read it for the manager part to my MacBook Pro microphone and for the team member part to my iPhone microphone. The conversation lasts a couple of minutes as planned. And when I'm done, I click on stop summary. That also means that you can choose when to start and stop the service. For example, you may want Zoom to only capture a part of the meeting and summarize that specific part. So let's end the meeting for all. How accurate will the summary be? Well, it takes a couple of minutes to process. So while waiting for it, let's think when this could be useful. I see two main advantages of using this feature. The first one is that you can share a meeting summary with all those team members that were not able to join the meeting. They will receive the summary immediately after the meeting has ended and it will be concise so all the team members can be brought up to speed in no time. The other big advantage is audience engagement. We know how difficult it is to keep the audience engaged 
especially during virtual meetings. So removing from them the task of taking notes frees up brain resources and will allow participants to be more present and focused on what matters. And speaking of ways to boost engagement, Lucky Carrot, that is the sponsor of this video, is a recognition platform where people can send carrots to celebrate achievements, say thank you or recognize other colleagues' work. And yes, I just happen to have a carrot t-shirt in my wardrobe. The news is that Lucky Carrot has now launched a Zoom app that allows you to send carrots and boost engagement right during a Zoom meeting. The Lucky Carrot app is free to download. If you are in a team, you can send virtual carrots for free, but you can also purchase carrot credits so that you're not just recognizing people with virtual carrots, but they can also collect credits and redeem branded gift cards or fun experiences from Lucky Carrot International Catalog. Lucky Carrot brings visibility to hard work and achievements, and expressing gratitude and appreciation creates a positive work environment. So why not trying to send some carrots at your next Zoom meeting? Back to the Zoom meeting IQ summary results now. To access the summary, go to your web client and select Meeting Summary with Zoom IQ. It only takes a couple of minutes to process. And voila, the meeting summary is ready. It says that Enrico discusses concerns about the project being behind schedule and so on. Reading through the whole summary, I have to say that it is pretty accurate. If you want to check for yourself, just pause the video here, read the summary and then read the original script. The same summary is also shared with the host and the participants if you have enabled this feature in the settings through email. So the summary is pretty accurate. But what if I repeat the same thing a couple of times? Will Zoom give me the same exact summary? I gave it a try and I have to say that the summary is always consistent. I think this will be a big change for our Zoom meetings. Will I use the feature? Well, yes, all the time, as long as it stays free. Will I pay for it? Well, it depends how much it'll cost. If you've tested the feature, please share your experience in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. You can now take your Zoom skills to the next level by watching this next video here.